So I was banging this chick last night. She was so hot. I swear to God, I was like moving that ass side to side. Just kidding, I don't know. Is that, did I say it right? I used to practice how to sound straight all the time. So my name's Alexa. I'm gonna start this off. I'm Puerto Rican. I like to tell people I'm Puerto Rican, so I have an excuse for having a mustache. <laughs> I'm half Russian, half Puerto Rican, also trans, so you can guess I'm 100% a disappointment. <laughs> if you know anything about Puerto Rican culture, we are two things. We are very Catholic, we're very conservative. I was so uh, conservative, I didn't even have sex with my priest. <laughs> Until I was 16, mama didn't raise no bitch. I know to make a way to get the rent. I remember uh, when I first came out to my mom, I thought it was about to be uh, this magical moment. Like, I thought I was about to be Molly Ringwald. It was about to be some 16 Candles shit. So I came out to her and I was like, Mom, Mom, I've always felt like a woman inside. And then she just turns to me and she's like, you're my least favorite kid. <laughs> but I fired back though. I was like, Mom, I'm your only kid. But then she dropped the nuclear bomb. I know, I'm counting the two miscarriages. <laughs> to picture my mom, right, you have to know she's the type of woman who's been smoking Virginia Slim Luxury Light 120s, the one with the yellow stripe every single day since she was four years old. I remember when I first got my surgery. And also, uh, sir who had the trans friend, she overpaid for that pussy. $30,000? $30,000, mine cost 20. She must have got the Ferrari, I got the station wagon. I could probably double mine for an Arby's sandwich. That being said, when I came home from my surgery, I remember mom, I was like, mom, mom, do I look pretty? And then she just turns to me, Virginia Slim in hand, and she's like, the doctor couldn't fix that voice. <laughs> and I was like, mom, you're one to talk. <laughs> and then she said, this voice isn't biological. I got it from smoking pure class. <laughs> I work in door-to-door uh, -door sales, and if you know anything about door-to-door -door sales, it's the Michelle Williams of sales jobs. <laughs> And I remember I had to go to Pennsylvania for the door-to-door -door position. Going to Pennsylvania for a job opportunity is a lot like um, going to a crack house for financial advice. <laughs> it, it's just kind of counterintuitive. So I remember I went there and I hate job interviews because they always ask really stupid questions. Like you go in there and they're just like, what's your biggest weakness? And I said, I'm too giving. They said, that's not a weakness. I said, ask my ex-boyfriend, he now has herpes. <laughs> Did everyone have a really good Valentine's Day? Good Valentine's Day? This is a bar on a Tuesday night, so I would imagine no. <laughs> I got a dumped recently, and um, so that means I'm single and ready to mingle with my therapist. Actually, I don't have insurance, so I have to have sex with my therapist so he'll see me. I also book Uber rides just to have someone to complain about my problems. I remember one time I got in the Uber, and I was my, this was after my fiance dumped me. And I was just like, he dumped me after I let him pee on me. <laughs> right? That's a special bond. Like, that is some R. Kelly shit. I was expecting a record deal out of it. <laughs> And the Uber driver just looks at me and he's like, well, looks like someone rained on your parade. <laughs> but I remember I got dumped and the thing is it, it really annoyed me because he stormed in my room at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. is such a rude time to dump someone. If you're gonna dump them, dump them at 8 p.m. It's a lot more considerate. You know, I have time to get off work, I can change my clothes, make something to eat, get a nice bath water ready so I can jump in with a toaster. <laughs> I'm currently on all of the dating apps. I'm on Tinder, I'm on Plenty of Fish, OkCupid, my personal favorite where I lost my virginity, Craigslist. <laughs> I put myself in the use good section because I'm just realistic about my appearance. <laughs> I, also, I also get down with some Christian mingle, you know? 
really love Christian Mingle. Because here's the thing, if someone can be convinced that a wafer is someone's body, I can definitely convince them my dick is just a really big camel toe. <laughs> But like, he, he storms in my room. Oh, thank you. He storms in my room at 5 a.m. and he's like, you've been texting other dudes. Why don't you go stay in a cabin in the woods with those dudes you've been texting? First off, why does he think the guys that text me would take me to a cabin in the woods? The guys who text me would take me to a McDonald's restroom for a quickie. <laughs> then only let me order off the dollar menu afterwards. <laughs> See, I never get with the type of guys I like. I want like a strong military guy. You know, someone who's gonna go overseas, fight for the country, not come back. I claim the life insurance, I buy a house, I get a very nice car. <laughs> and I keep the process going until I, until I keep trading up. I'm gonna be the transsexual Melania Trump. <laughs> Actually, I kind of think she is trans, because typically we're the ones who go so overboard and have our face pulled back that much. <laughs> but I, I just, I never get with the guys I like. Like, I want the type of guy who has a purple heart. The closest I get is a guy who has a purple heart tattooed on his neck. My, I think my picker's broken. You know, if I had to pick a guy out of a police lineup, my answer would be, I want to suck all of them. <laughs> So I'll um, leave you on this. I'm actually uh, super excited to be back in Michigan. I was here um, three years ago, to the month, in rehab. Yep, I went to rehab, because rehab's kind of like Tinder for addicts. I went to meet a boyfriend, but I ended up staying sober. I'm three years sober from meth, crack, and heroin. Thank you. And I actually give back to the community and I do drug prevention programs in the public school systems in Ohio. And no, it's not that great, I hate children. I hate <laughs> children so much. If you know anything about children, they're the shadiest people on the planet. Like, you'll walk in there and they'll just be like, why that lady got a mustache? I'll be like, I'm Puerto Rican, don't be bigoted. <laughs> and I remember it's through the performing arts because we all know how to get guys in high school, middle school to stay sober, have a tranny, do live theater about it. It's very popular with that demographic. It's not. I was playing a pregnant woman and I was like giving this monologue, I'm gonna stay sober for me, I'm gonna stay sober for my baby. And I hear in the back of the room this little boy just yell, but boys can't have babies. I have never wanted to punch a middle schooler so much in my life. Long story short, I am now banned from that middle school. <laughs> but I really think they underutilize my skills. Because could you imagine if I came out on a completely dark stage and I'm just like... So I used to have a really hot girlfriend. <laughs> Full rat scholarship to Ohio State. I smoked weed once! <laughs> I went from being a tight end to a wide open receiver. <laughs> Thank you guys. Cleveland, I love it. All right, got uh, two more comments left for you.